Hi, my name is Michael Geldings. I'm a teacher, a K through five teacher in New England public schools. And welcome to Mr. G's Reading Habitat. Today, we'll be reading from the book, Space Jam, a novelization by Francine Hughes. And today we're going to be reading chapter one. Space Jam, one, 1973. Stars twinkled brightly. A full moon lit a quiet tree-lined street. Thump, thump, thump. A loud noise broke the silence. A 10-year-old boy dribbled a basketball. Up and down he went, down and up the driveway of his house. He shot the ball at the basket. Then, thump, 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 he shot again. He wouldn't give up. He wanted each move to be perfect. The stars, the moonlight, the basket and the ball. It all seemed magical. And the boy, Michael Jordan, could play forever. The porch light switched on suddenly. Michael blinked. His dad stood on the steps. Michael, Mr. Jordan called softly. What are you doing out here, son? It's after midnight. Michael dribbled. He had to keep the ball moving. I couldn't sleep, Pop, he explained. His father smiled. Neither can we with all this noise. Come on, let's go inside. Just one more shot, Michael pleaded. Mr. Jordan looked at Michael's eager face. All right, just one. Michael took aim. Swish. The ball sailed through the hoop. A perfect shot. All right, his father said. Shoot it again. Swish. Getting pretty good, son, Mr. Jordan told Michael. He tossed him the ball. Go ahead. Shoot until you miss. Michael took shot after shot. Hey, he said as he let them fly. Do you think I can be really good? Good enough to get into college? If you get really good, his father told him, you can do anything you want to, Michael. I want to play at North Carolina, Michael said, on a championship team. Then I want to play in the NBA. And once I've done all that, I want to play baseball, just like you, Dad. Mr. Jordan chuckled. <laughs> baseball, now that's a sport. And when you're finished with that, I suppose you are going to fly. Could he fly? Michael wondered. He gripped the ball tight. He drove toward the basket. Smooth. Easy. Michael leaped into the air. Higher. Higher. He soared, just the way he would in 1983, at North Carolina on a championship team. In 1984 and 1992, at the Olympics, in 1985 as NBA Rookie of the Year and year after year leading the Chicago Bulls to victory. Michael was the best. A star. A legend. Now what? He wondered one day. What else can I do? Then he remembered that conversation with his father and he knew the answer. Baseball. To be continued on Mr. G's Reading Habitat next time.